Well now it's time to get into designing in this uh, little sample job here. We're looking at the rear of the courtyard of that block that we've laid out. I've turned the grid on and I've set the grid at a 1 meter grid. You might remember that the back fence here was 6.6 .6 meters from the front of that bay window area that is part of the family room here. Now our job is to do two things. We have to provide a garden design for this area. One that will soften the whole area. It presently paved with 300 millimeter paving bricks all the way through. But secondly, this particular area gets very hot in summertime. This is in the southern hemisphere. We get strong summer rays hit that area and make it very uncomfortable early in the morning and early morning period uh, in summertime. In winter we want that sun so we need some method to shade this area effectively. So now it's time to start putting in some construction details. What I've done is to use the join command to join all of these individual line elements. The join commands up here in the modify and join. There it is there. I've joined the individual lines together. The reason to do that is uh, I'd like to pick up some element in the building and reflect it out into the garden. And so I'll, I'll take that group, right click, copy. I've got my uh, entity snap turned on and you notice a little yellow flyover so I've picked up that group precisely at that point and as you learn or will learn in the course you can copy an entity a particular distance so we can go at say four meters if you look down here in the design in the command area down there we're saying at four meters and it and in GardenCAD works just like your protractor so we can say angle of zero and the copy of that will push out to the right and hit the right mouse button and finish that off. Now I quite like to repeat that uh, that element just scaling it up somewhat so I'd then use the modify and scale command pick the object and scale it up around its midpoint here so I can entity snap to the midpoint and I'll use a 1.5 meter scale factor. At the moment I'm only doing this as a guide to what I might set out. Um, over here I have a, a 200 millimeter diameter galvanized pipe that I'm thinking of putting in the ground to anchor the points and I'm thinking about some sort of uh, stretching some sort of wire frame in here to produce uh, a, a, a maybe a Virgilia or a sorry a wisteria creeper a deciduous creeper over the top of a very light framework I'm not actually thinking of using that as the frame but I'll click on here and I'm just experimenting now I'll copy and I'll pick up I need to pick up the midpoint of that line let me not that circle sorry let's just roll in on it so I need to change my drafting aids and my snap so that I pick up the center of the circle. You notice I hadn't done that. I'll just zoom out a little more now. What I'm now thinking about are the poles that I want to insert in here and I want to run some wires between, oh sorry, I'll run a piece of light galvanized um, flat tubing across from the house to the poles uh, at various angles. So I need to position my uh, my circles that represent my poles reasonably accurately. So I think if I pick that up now and copy it from its center and I'll need to pop a pole somewhere in this, this position here. Now clearly that's over the boundary but that's fine for the moment. Um, we can always move it in a little to put it hard up against the fence. That gives us an opportunity of putting a piece of uh, steel through there. We'll need another piece uh, in order to get our uh, our framework, our wires going. I'm thinking of how we might do it. We're going to need another one about here I think so that we can run all the way through. So can you see that I want to stop recording at the moment just to give me a chance to think the design through. So I'm thinking design here in this particular environment. I've had a little more time to think about the design. When I left you, you remember we had reflected the shape of the bay window out here in the garden and I was busily starting to think about the poles that we might put in position. And now I'm thinking about uh, some lightweight steel flat section 
tubing running between the house bracketed to the house and then uh, back out onto these poles using a mechanism that I'll show with a photograph later on. Now I'm thinking about the lightweight stainless steel wires that might run between each cross member and will be used to support the plant. I've changed the drawing colour to red just to show you. So just to illustrate I'll now draw another line. So we'd start uh, this time say at the midpoint of this line here. Now I've turned midpoint off so I right click, go to drafting aids, object snap. No I haven't. Midpoint is on and the software is not finding the midpoint at the moment. It's favouring the, the end point. Let's see if we can get at it in another way. So we draw line it's finding that end point there, it's finding a midpoint of that one. So if we come down here and get closer to the to that line, it's it's struggling to find that midpoint, yet it can find no it can't well, that effectively is a midpoint. Then it can go perpendicular. So it's it's failing me a little there for the moment. So I'll draw midpoint to midpoint here. So drafting aids turn off endpoint, turn off perpendicular for the moment, OK it, go back and draw line, should be able to find that midpoint, now we can find that midpoint there. So there's our wire running from there to there. Not sure I like that, I think I'd go line and keeping things parallel, so you might get this series and just copy them and stretch them and offset them, so that, that certainly looks ugly, so we will erase that in the same way that we did this we should be able to simply copy that across and ex and expand it. There has to be a relatively good way of doing that. You can of course cheat a little. This is proving to be a little difficult so let's turn the object snaps off completely, clear all and we can draw a line from roughly the midpoint there, we want to go, where do we want to go to make it sort of parallel to that one and then across to that one, another line, repeat the line from there and then come across maybe to, yes, to that point. We really need to have that square on, don't we, and there's nothing to hold it to. So our positioning's wrong. I need to do some, some more thinking in that area. But can you see thinking's no more difficult than thinking with your pen. But I'm relatively happy with the design. This area I will pave under here and I'll have my uh, wires going and I will grow a creeper. That leaves me this zone through here for some planting. And so we'll get shade into those areas there. I've quite deliberately worked on that area. I'll simply make a I'll lock all these together here and simply mirror them, mirror and copy them down once I get my uh, my wire diagram, if you like, right. We can uh, play a little more happily. I'm just trying to think now. As we go, I drew from there to there and then I went from there perpendicular to that line and maybe that was the mistake. We probably should have continued that line on straight over to there and then gone across which would have given us a much better result I think so let's do that we will erase that line erase this line right click go back to our drafting aids turn our object snap on what do we need if we want to go from there we're going to need our end point on so we can simply draw a new line from that end point. This time we'll just continue it on. Now I have polar tracking on. You can see I can just click and then that puts that line in position. We can then modify and trim. This can be a cutting edge and we take that one off. Now we can zoom out again. That is looking better. Now we can draw a line from there to there. Draw a line from that end point this time we want to go perpendicular. I'm not sure whether if you type PER you can override that, but you can't. So you do have to be aware of your drafting aid settings. F3 should turn off object snap, but uh, I want perpendicular on this time. So it's draw, sorry, draw line from that end point perpendicular. Now, I'm not demonstrating terribly well. I needed to have my end point and perpendicular on, draw line f 
from now it's not picking up the end point of that line so the software is is struggling just a little so we'll cheat a little and do that maybe if I press well now I've completed my one and a half of the arbor that I'm trying to design here and now we simply mirror what we've got so it's modify mirror and I'll take a little care with this and just be very careful about picking the entities that I want I need a bit of trimming there but let's go with it as it is and I'm fairly carefully picking these entities because of course we don't want to mirror the whoops I missed that one we don't want to mirror the uh, the middle line there at all so I selected the objects to mirror I watch down the bottom it says the first line of the mirror first point of the mirror line is there and the second point will be there and that's interesting what that's done and I did not expect it and maybe I wasn't watching in the uh, down there at all uh, it should we, we did not want to rub out the um, the first group we can always mirror it back when I work out how the mirror command works Well, I think I've worked out how this mirror command actually operates. There's a slight trick to it. You hold the shift key down as you do the mirror. So it's modify, mirror. First point of our mirror line will be there. The second point will be there. And you can see it's ghosting behind us and we're getting what we want. But we hold the shift key down as we click and bingo, we have mirrored things. And our design is looking quite interesting from my point of view. I think let's turn off the grid and let's think about our garden design area now we've got a nice we can plant a, um, a wisteria or something similar above this to grow over there and we get some good shading and we've got a nice interesting area for planting around in here so I hope you see that garden cat can be used in quite an effective way the fact that I was having trouble with uh, entity snaps and trimming and haven't yet finished I need to move this um, circle along a little and just generally tidy up but I was designing as I was going to try and solve a problem so I hope you appreciate that this can be used as a design tool so we're moving along in our design work